Hi, I'm Alexa, and I play the viola. And my name is Caitlin, and I play the harp. And together, we've created Project Grow. Project Grow is our chance to play some of our favorite music for you, as well as talk a little bit about nature and the planet at the same time. So let's start with the music. So what is this viola thing anyway? So as you can see, and it might look familiar to some of you, it's made out of wood. It's got two parts. This is the bow. This is the viola. They're both made out of wood, which comes from trees. And it has four strings. Now you might have seen an instrument that looks very similar to this one called the violin. This is not a violin. The viola is much better. <laughs> so no, but really it, it has a little bit of a lower range than the violin. The violin has an E string on top and the viola has an A string on top. Basically it's higher than the viola. The viola is like the violin's lower sister and it has a different set of four strings but still four strings. Anyway, I would love for you to hear some of what the viola sounds like. We play it in multiple different ways. Sometimes we play pizzicato, like that. Sometimes, and perhaps more often, we use the bow. And this part is actually horsehair. So why don't I show you what that sounds like when it's on the string. <laughs> harp sounds like over with Caitlin. That's really cool, Alexa. I have always loved viola, but let me tell you a little bit more about the harp now. So the viola has four strings. The harp has 47 strings. So it's a lot going on there. The strings are like the white keys on a piano. They basically take care of all of the notes right in the middle, the ones you usually need. But then you have to get the black keys too, right? So on the bottom of the harp, there are, in addition to the 47 strings, seven pedals. So while you're playing the harp with your hands, you also have to adjust the pedals with your feet to help you get the other notes that are on the black keys on the piano. You may notice the shoes I'm wearing. All harpists have their own pair of harp shoes that make it easier to push the pedals. Each pedal, has three different positions. It can be at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom, and it changes how the string sounds. So here is a string in the top position. Then if I push the pedal down, the string sounds like this. If I push it down again, it goes even higher. So the same string can sound like three different notes, just depending on the pedal. So now you know all about the viola and the harp, we would love to show you what they sound like together. So this is a duet called The Nightingale, written by a woman named Deborah Henson Conant. She's from California and she plays the harp as well, but it's one that's different from Caitlin's. She carries hers around on a strap, and I'm not sure that Caitlin would manage to carry hers around for very long, because it's very big and heavy, as you saw. The nightingale is a bird, and perhaps as we play this little duet for you, you can imagine the sweet song 
of the nightingale bird before we say our goodbye. Thank you.